What is going on, Agape City Church? Brad here coming at you on a Monday for one of our Monday morning pastors. Yesterday was a great Sunday at church. It was so cute seeing the kids on stage, building the live nativity. Uh, it was just so awesome to having a, another family service all together. We'll do that about four times a year, uh, but it is such a blast to seeing our kids in the service with us and all of us worshiping together. Um, hopefully you guys were blessed by that service yesterday. Uh, I'll tell you another way we were blessed was uh, a couple members of the church, uh, some uh, sweet sweet ladies, uh, brought me a giant tray of cookies, like like just a heaping tray of homemade cookies, and some had the some you know powdered sugar on them, and some had the, the peanut butter you know fork things. Why do we put the fork? marks on the peanut butter cookies, but not the sugar ones. Can someone in the comments below let me know? Uh, but uh, And they were chocolate chips, they all these great cookies. And it was such a nice treat. And I and I brought it home and uh, it was interesting, like my family, we all just kept going back to it. We just kept going back to it because it was enticing and we, want, we wanted to get more of it, uh, you know, to eat more of it. And that just made me think of God's word. Like, that's what the Bible says God's word is supposed to be. Like the Bible is supposed to be like that. The book of Ezekiel chapter 3 says that the, the, the words of God should be on our lips and it should taste like honey. Like not that we're like supposed to like actually eat the book, but like we should read it and it should like wash over us. It should satiate us. It should inspire us. And, it should, and we should fall so in love with it. That just like my family, every time they walk by that tray of cookies, they're like, I'm just going to grab one more. I'm just going to grab one more. Like, we should be so in love with scripture. Like, I just want to read one more scripture. I just want to read one more scripture. Like, for my reading plan right now, I'm in the book of Job. In Job chapter 23, he's talking to his friends who are kind of accusing him of, of sinning, even though he knows he didn't. And this is what he says to his friends. And, and I love it. He says, Job 23, verse 12, says, I have not departed from the commands of his lips. He says, I have treasured the words of his mouth more than daily bread. Job is telling his friends, I not have gone I've not gone against the commands of God and I value the words of God more than daily bread more than a tray of cookies I want God's word in my life and I see that all throughout scripture the importance of God's word the importance of being in scripture that it's supposed to be our our daily bread it's supposed to man did not live on bread alone but the very word of God that's what Jesus says and so wouldn't it be a shame if you and I were starving ourselves of the spiritual food that God always meant for us to eat so Agape City Church, my challenge for you as we close out the end of this year, a lot of times people get some more margin in their time, maybe get some time off work or something like that. Maybe, maybe instead of you know listening to another you know social media post or a TikTok video or something, maybe this is a good time to open up the Bible app, find a reading plan for a week or a few days that goes over a topic that you care about, and open your Bible and actually read what God's Word has to say to you. And then know this, going into 2023, I always read through the complete Bible in a year. I do the Robert Roberts reading plan. It's the Old Testament once and the New Testament twice in a calendar year. So Agape City Church, if you want to follow along with me and be on the same reading plan as me, uh, you can go to the YouVersion app, go to the Bible plans. On January 1st, start the Robert Roberts plan and we'll be synced up and we could do that plan together. But my challenge for you this week is just like that tray of cookies was calling for us and we were just going back and grabbing some more. This week, open up God's word, just take a few nibbles and get it firing in your life. Because I believe God's word will show up and he will, it will inspire you to do God's will. And so hopefully you guys have a great week this week. I can't wait to see you all at Christmas Eve service outside. I know it's going to be cold. We're going to bundle up and we're going to bless our city. I love you all. See you later on. Peace. I'm out of here.